from a private to a public school was terrifying. A new school culture, curriculum, and the biggest question I had when approaching the new environment was, am I going to fit in? Walking into that third grade classroom, I tried to talk to some of my new classmates. Being the new girl, it was difficult for me to make friends with people that were already in their friend groups. Eventually, I tried to talk like them and act like them in order to fit in. At times, even having friends, I still felt conscious about how I was. And the truth is that I didn't have confidence in myself at all. We all sometimes wish we could start somewhere new, have a different image, and become that idealized version of ourselves. But the key to starting fresh is to first develop confidence through calm tactics. According to a study conducted by University of Texas, 57% of girls and 68% of boys of the same race, academic background, and social class are less likely to attend college because of the fear of not fitting in. Everyone has challenges when they are different, even to the point where it causes us to neglect our true and unique attributes. When the pandemic first began, human interaction changed. I wasn't as self-conscious about myself since I hadn't had a real conversation in so long. During online school, I would slowly start turning on my camera, answering questions, and eventually participating in class discussions. I would refer to this as my chill factor. I approached any of the activities and events I had on my calendar calmly, and everything I did was done without procrastination. When schools and stores slowly started to open back up, I brought the same concept into my daily conversations. In the past, I used to be stiff in my conversations and scold myself for little mistakes I made while speaking. But now it was easier for me to have a conversation because I realized that the important aspect of a conversation was the ability to listen. And I learned this by being away from people for so long. And what helped me with this confidence was the chill factor. Now when I say chill factor, I don't mean the stereotypical chill as someone who's laid back and doesn't care about what others think or say. But when applied to real life, the chill factor is not overthinking your past decisions and instead focusing on the future. We shouldn't let the little difficulties that may prevent us distract us from achieving our goals. We choose minor difficulties to be a problem, so we must instead address temporary conflicts and come to a feasible solution. Calmness is an important trait that every human should possess. And the key to solving the many problems that occur in the world today is to use the chill factor and approach problems one step at a time. Are any of you familiar with blinders in horseback riding? Race horses use blinders to prevent them from seeing any distractions because they can see so clearly to the side. We should be using this relationship between the horse and blinders in our everyday life. Just as our horses use blinders, humans should use the chill factor to neglect any distractions that are going on inside and instead focus on reaching the finish line. Dale Carnegie states that people rarely succeed unless they're having fun. The purpose of the chill factor is not to ignore your tasks, but to rather stop overthinking them and instead find a way to enjoy them. So remember, if you ever have that one assignment due at 9 a.m. the next morning and are stressed about it, just use the chill factor and approach everyday life with ease and confidence. Thank you.